What's up, everybody? It's Jetty, and I'm just getting started on making a new batch of postcards. Well, actually, this was back in March. This was several months ago, but you know, you know, you can pretend that I just just made these yesterday. Turns out I'm pretty good at drawing, but uh, not really good at making videos. So, you know, thank you for your patience and everything. Wanted to give you an insight, though, on uh, the process I go through when I'm making a batch of postcards. You can see me doing my watercolor here. Slamming some, uh, some ink down on the paper, getting some aggression out. Then I have to, then I have to give them a good little smush, good little shuffle. I don't know why, I just, I like, I like having them as random as possible. Do a little look over of them all, make sure. They're up to my liking. I was actually really, really happy with this batch. And I separate them into groups of five. Five that I lay out horizontally and five that I lay out vertically. And for the horizontal, I uh, cover them up about halfway over each, you know, over, overlap them about halfway. Oh, I think it's just four of each. I lied. I'm so sorry. I hope you'll still hit that like and subscribe button, even though I I wasn't entirely truthful. I told you there would be f five of each. Oh wait, is there five of each? There might be five of each. I don't know, you see this was months ago. This is what I get for recording a video and putting it off for months. Yeah, okay, okay, cool. You all forgive me. You all can forgive me now, it's, it's five by five, so. So I put down the, the first layer of color pretty randomly, and the second one, I, I lay them over each other and I do this, more of this sliding smear coloration. Just like that. I love that. I just love that. This is a favorite part. Take them apart and I uh, see all the negative space left behind. You know, you know, just normal art stuff. got to be careful. I tack them down with some like poster putty or whatever, so I got to be careful I don't rip them, but got to give it a good little smush again. A happy little happy little shuffle. Keep it keep it random, you know. Mmm, these look clean. These look so clean. I was really happy with how these all turned out. Yeah, 
I loved how these ones turned out. Now we get to take a little peek at the drawing process. I'm gonna pull out my wild gears here in a moment. There they are. I have the 96 hoop with the 72 gear that has the 36 cutout and I'm running a 24 inside of the 36. Drew it on one side, now I have to create the symmetry. There it is. So that's what I'll build this design off of. As with all of my postcard series, uh, they all follow a similar theme and they all use the same gear combinations, but I'll vary my repetitions or my starting positions. So uh, each one ends up unique from one another. Look at that. So I completed the pattern on one side, and again, I have to go do the same thing on the other. Even out the symmetry here. There it is. And then more and more, I've been going through and adding my own little additions to each piece to give each one a little bit more variety and uniqueness. So I'm using some of the pen holes in different gears to uh, lay out some cool little circles and stuff. And I took a compass and drew uh, additional circles in that I'm using as guidelines for the stippling here. Fun, fun. I used to be really into the stippling and haven't been doing it as much, but this series definitely inspired me to go back and try those out again, so. That's it though, the only thing you guys didn't see was the, the embossing that I did there at the bottom. That's another cool addition I've been adding, so. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you'd like to get in on one of my postcard mail outs sometime soon, uh, visit my Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description and if uh, you're looking for getting your own wild gears I'll leave you a coupon code below as well that you can use anyways have a lovely day you all stay safe and thanks for watching like and subscribe if you like